Greetings everyone, and Great here with another H Powers 4 replay. Spawn on the bottom left side as the blue or the dragon, we have L Sensei. Spawn on the top right side as the yellow Holy Room Empire, we have Roger Scruton. Once it comes to map generation, here spawn safely over here for yellow, bore a little bit more off the side, but this side of the map is a little bit sparse and resources. Got a good amount of stone, a little bit of gold. But over here, we've got two sizable gold deposits, as well as a bit of deer. So I think up here would be the better expansion direction. Stone back here for later stone consumption. Blue has all his berries spawned on one side of the map along with four. Deer out front, a little bit more exposed. This deer's way off the side. A bit of mixed resources, but nothing too significant. Well, a bit more denser packed of gold over here, so I'm assuming the right words is a better expansion direction for blue in this case. Yeah. Yellow does find some sheeple, six of them. Blue does find a bit more at eight. We've now got the Akin Chapel being blown up by the Holy Room Empire player. He does put it next to the wood. Maybe better to put it more close over here. It'll give him more building room for the farms, as well as able to put the stone better. When he so chooses to get that. If you were to put it more over here, it could have got a little bit, at least a, bit, a little bit better berry collection. So this Auckland Chapel, I don't really like the placement of it. Yeah. Over here, got the Minwork Palace, which will of course give access to a blacksmith that you research faster, cheaper, along some unique technologies. Ready. This villager does complete that mill with a little bit buggy animation. <coughs> And now we do have Wu Barrow not being researched by the Holy Room Empire player. We do have house there. Looks like we do have a stable, so gilded horsemen are being employed on fields. So I'm deploying out a stable's own, so it looks like I am for some regular horsemen. Go to horseman now push way forward. Yeah. And we'll find these villagers. The go to horseman does offer 15 damage for strike, so we'll sure four shot villagers. The blacksmith research will not improve that. Exiles will provide one additional hit. And blacksmith armor will help counter out the one of those hits, but let's take out villager there. Very nice. And now the guild horseman is pulling back. Hill scout will try to intercept. Gets a nice little shank there of his knife. Nothing else being pulled out by Blue at the moment, just eyeing for the single guild horseman, and unlike the Holy Empire player, he can't develop butts there to heal him up. Horseman pursuing Blue's ungilded scout. Scout moving around. Do you now have the arrow slit research coming out for blue? Give him a good little hard point there to stick his village inside. And with emergency repairs, he won't be able to get torched down anytime soon. Blue collection research for yellow. Blue has not gotten any sort of economic research, not even wheelbarrow just yet. Let's get some decent hits there on that horseman with the town center arrows. More barracks and more stables not being employed by the Holy Roman Empire player. Let's get some hits there on these villagers. May lose a horseman. Does lose a horseman there. And the horseman does eat some hits. He could have won another prelate or evacuate his current one out of the Auckland Chapel. To get those guys healed on up. He's going for some spearmen, the Holy Room Empire player. Blue Scout has gone down. 
He does take some bites there. Regnitz Cathedral now being pulled on out. Horsemen make escape into the town center. Now I've got these villagers charging away four. They're trying to build an outpost there. Those get cancelled. And Blue's Gilded Horseman does escape out of there with four health remaining. Some of Yellow's horsemen are starting going down. Horseman does take some arrows there. We got these horsemen charging way forward once again. These horsemen do fall back up there. More forces up here. There's Ragnik's Cathedral. He is being pressured. He, he will have trouble claiming those relics. The amount of horsemen on the field, maybe it would have been better to go for the Bulgarov Palace. Throw some torches there onto that mill. Some a gilded knight now being pulled on the field. One prox pulled on out. Yellow's camping this relic. As well as this relic here. The other two relics are over here and here, while this last one's way safe up north. Horse will charge away forward once again. Gives a good damage on those filters. He does throw some torches there before falling back. Horseman does go down there. Gilded Knight now pulled in field, but Yellow does have good number of spearmen to gauge these small number of Gilded Knights. Does get some damage on that villager. That one does escape inside, and these horsemen charge away forward as well. Make some more damage. They do have plus one range armor. Does need a hit there. And some of these uh, horsemen taking some damage. Villagers taking some hits here as well. We may see a Wolo. Going for Wolo now does run away from it. A couple spear mix on in. So far, Yellow's only killed off one villager. He may get some more now. Relic may grab the relic. I'll just does finish off the prelate there. Spearman needs to focus on that gilded knight. Horseman trying to charge way over here. I need some of these villagers. It does trap a couple villagers there. It does get one more villager kill. Another pair of horsemen charging way forward, trying to pursue these wounded villagers. Not successful though. And it does take out that gilded knight. Has an expensive loss there. The yellow's losing a lot more. The kill value is definitely in favor of blue, and blue has only lost two villagers. Does have a prelate here to heal up some of these villagers. He may want to stick around and do that. Horsemen spearmen trying to pursue these villagers. Those these can them inside the outpost. Now we do got a gilded archer here. Right now, gilded men at arms will probably be better than gilded archers. Oh, 
You may want to pass take time throw that out uh, relic inside the outpost. Doesn't have any stones stored up in order to get spring golem placements at the outpost. Nor even arrow slit. I go for a market here. A spear will go down. Gilded Archer is getting hit, but does have plenty of fire support to save him. Gilded Knight charges way forward, trying to torch down some housing. Some Gilded, or not Gilded Spear in there. Up more force from charging way forward, trying to pick up that one Gilded Archer. Spearman will go down. Olgar of Paulus now being built by Yellow, which is basically a times four or times five of barracks. This prelate may go down to the horseman. He's trying to go for Wolo there. Looks like he may be successful. Nope, he is not. Spearman trying to pursue this Gilded Knight. We still got a horseman for camping this relic here. And I also got the local dog who gained some bites. We now got Martian drills now being researched by Yellow. We got another Prolotron cranling this relic. Another relic picked up. Got a good number of good archers here. Horseman, of course, will be good against the gilded archers. Spearmen having trouble connecting. Wool there, which will provide a bit of a reaction there, allowing Blue to get some free damage on in. Takes out another spearman there. And the gilded knights now charging into the horsemen. We do have some mana arms upon the field. They are elite or regular mana arms. No. Weapon upgrades just yet onto them. We know he's gone for marching drills, though. <coughs> Archers and knights falling back there. Yellow's not going for blunt weapons. We'll help engage these knights a little bit more cost effectively as mana arms. So it needs a bit of time to research them, though. Knights or man at arms and a single spear and trap suit these knights. <clears throat> right up here trying to claim this relic. Blue will not discover it. Force him to take out this prelate now, which is trying to catch up this relic. So blue maybe will claim up two relics. Yellow has picked up two. So he did go with the Regnitz Cathedral, so he does have effectively four relic income. He's got man's claim of three relics, it would be three versus four relics, which is not too bad for yellow. And actually pretty not good for blue. Going for a mill here. And there's now the man arms there, getting has blunt weapons research, giving plus six damage versus heavy. And plus, it does have the two handed weapons as well, so it's getting 20 damage versus heavy at the moment, which is pretty good. Maybe push up to 22 this age. Do not got the range armor and melee damage. The amount of you know, the archers in the field, they get up to 10 damage this age. These man arms can get up to, what, 6 armor? This age, so you can withstand most of it. 
That men arms will go down. These horses trying to overrun these gilded archers. Gain some good hits onto them. These good archers do move technically faster than men arms. I'll assume they're not in the combat sprint. They will not be able to escape up the spearmen with their marching drills. That's going to take out Blue Scout there. Archers start stepping around. Not focused on the spearmen just yet. And got a couple spring golden places here. We probably should throw the red up inside of this one. This one's just an arrow slit. And good speed race there, and we'll take out one of those golden knights. This other golden knight is quite damaged. Second sight not being decaptured or being interrupted. Yellow has claimed the other one. And Yell's now backing on off. Yell's now researched Wheelbarrow, so does Blue. Blue one has level 1 food collection, while Yellow does soon be level 2 food, level 2 wood, and level 1 gold. Blue's not going for level 1 wood. And we still got a good number of men arms this area. Spearman now pushing down or just trying to engage these Yoda Nice has to get a good volley onto them. And we do have this Spearman here receiving some crossbow fire. Some Alcid walls haven't built to here. Some villagers, however, are idle. Got two prelates here for inspiring. They may, these guys may move a little bit closer. Cause, uh, nope, we'll say all the villagers are inspired. Very quickly, a prelate can support with a six, or is it seven villagers? <laughs> Because I has been decaptured. Only one is captured by yellow. Blue's capturing up one now. We've got a good number of mana arms and spearmen here by the Holy Roman Empire player. Over a handful of horsemen just engage those gilded archers. One does have a good number of gilded archers and crossbows with a small number of knights, so the Magnell he's building out will be effective. Spearman will go down. <clears throat> he does get shank there. Go to Nike decapturing this sacred site. And I do have the Palace of Swabia not being pulled out by the Holy Room Empire player. Black Lives Funnel will do the same. But we'll need a lot more resources. One villager does go down. He has not researched textiles. The knight's base attack is 37. And that will two shot even textile villagers. Archer down. Horseman falling back, taking a little bit of damage. These Guild Knights now moving down over here. He's blown some walls. Does have the Magnell on the field. Has two of them on the field. Villagers do go down. 
With the Palace of Swabia, he's able to quickly rebuild his villagers, and that one horseman does go down as well. Gotta be very careful with these Maganels. Maganels fire. Get a pretty decent volley on the crossbows. Horsemen, spearmen, and mana arms straight forward. Flash down some more of these ranged forces. These units do have 45, 145 health, so they do have a good amount of health. <coughs> right now, Blue's army is effectively 77 units versus just 32 as opponent. Magnus finds a good follow there to cancel some loose forces. And I do have some regular knights being pulled on out by the Holy Empire player. He does the full guard pulse fast production, so you can get out some more spearmen if needed. Go to the knights to try and charge away for it and take out those Maganels. Fourth Maganel being pulled on the field. Great follow there in this range forces. All three of those Maganels do go down to fourth one push way forward. It's a small hit there. And the Gilded Knights have gone down. Knights try and charge the way forward. And it does fall back there. And these Gilded Knights do find an opportunity to engage these villagers. The boar does go down here. Which will give food quite a bit of food. Dell's not going for Grease Axles and for the Elite Horseman Research. Or the Dragon Player does cancel his Gilded Knights get queued on up. He may be going to age up relatively soon. Those villagers do go down there. The knights do take quite a bit of damage. 25 and 26 health remaining. Palace of Swabia now being pulled up by the Orin Dragon player. Those good knights do circle back around into the bunch of spears. Villagers heading up north, trying to clean up this gold deposit. Well, taking some stabs there. Gil Knights trying to charge way forward. We'll find a bit too many units in front of them. It will be for some back. A good number of mills here. More of the Gil Knights charging way forward, but they're going to be outnumbered. But a number of them are just horsemen, not knights, so. They should he just find that engagement to be a messy engagement nonetheless for both sides. The number of housing now going up over here. Yellow is going to claim up some stone to help him secure up his flanks so with probably with some keeps. Going for our line of palisade walls here. Now do we have the elite spearman research on the way? Go to Knights moving around. <laughs> that horse gets immediately impaled. Horsemen, too nice sound here. Got this range force now moving down south to engage it. 
<coughs> and the second side here has been captured in the center. We don't have second side being soon to be decaptured. Go nice to make his way forward. Horseman and nice charge way forward. They will get annihilated. And looks like these Guild Knights will manage to sneak on by. These three villagers will probably go down, but let's just go and charge forward try to get some torches. It does take out that one Guild Knight there. Six side being decaptured by a couple elite mana arms. This one has been captured by yellow, and this one will be decaptured shortly. The armor tactics now complete. Horseman and Knights trying to get to these villagers, but this uh, set of walls are not currently ghosted, so he can actually slip on by and get through. Villagers, it is, is being obstructed by that knight. It's being about knights, they do obstruct some of these villagers from collecting up food. Getting some various arrow hits while the two horses are trying to pursue it. They can just turn around and take out those horsemen. And it looks like one knight does manage to slip on by. <clears throat> Oh, here just got a single spearman getting shanked by the villagers. One guild knight does go down, they're taking on the number of villagers. Yell does have a superior number of villagers, but a single additional 25% villagers here, so roughly add a little over 20 villagers here, so he has roughly about 105 villagers versus 112. The village count's not too different. And I got this elite man orange to get some fire here. I'm gonna make short work of these walls with all the torches. Some of these villagers are going down. And they're not exactly super replaceable. Spring walls do take out one of the Maganels. Maganels firing some rounds into the walls. Not great, but the Maganel does go down. One of these Maganels starting to get hit. Should be able to take out the last Maganel. All the Maganels are now down. Yellow's army is starting to disintegrate to the Blue's army. Who does lose a spring goal there, but they've done their job. <clears throat> now these villagers are starting to get pursued there as well. Lose down to semi villagers. These man arms do go down. Blue still has a sizable army in the field of 102 effective military units. Bunch just has 38. Maybe for more spearmen, maybe for more man arms or something. Going for chemistry now, I'm for some hand cannoneers, likely. <coughs> Does that keep in the center of the map to help him keep the sacred site? Does start to decapture the sacred site now, or start to automatically revert, I should say. And yells, I'm for keep over here as well. Who's not going for our bombard? Has three Maganels, not Ragnels, Spring Golds. So a good number of ranged forces. Both players are in age four. Who does not have elite gilded archers nor elite gilded spearmen? And these walls will be cr uh, this wall will be crossed. Hills keep will still take a sniff amount of time to be built. Who's likely not going to go up there anytime soon? A uh, massive wave of villagers that blue does slip on by. This is very dangerous for Yellow to have all these villagers like this. Sigside has been captured. He really wants to claim up the stone of his opponent. At this point in time, maybe good idea to go for some stone and eye for our town center here just to get some emergency repairs. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We now have a cauldron on the field. A cauldron is affected by chemistry. We will do 102 damage. Which is not... Oh, not two shot. Oh, it does two shot the... Uh... Bombard there. Yeah, but then I forgot the plus 60 versus Siege. And I've got these ones on Patrick Ford. Does pull off a number of blue villagers and also dies some gold. He does have four relic income worth of gold and he can still claim up this gold deposit up here. Who's putting some small amount of units over here? Villagers rotating around. And some of these villagers will get impaled. Siege Warwick's not being researched by the Polar Empire player. And we've got a line of blue stone walls up here as well. <clears throat> Keeps not being upgraded by Bombard. Harlot does go down. He's still sneaking inside the keep. Enough room for all except for now one. A good number of cauldrons not being pulled out on the field. I'll help them take out to these sprinkles, no problem. They will one shot them. Last connect does go down there. Now here we do have some men arms engaging some of these villagers as well. Yells ground for some straight forward. Maganello does take some shots there. Will not fire a shot off before going down. Over takes out a spring gold there. Some of these culverts are getting flanked by some various spearmen. Takes out all of those spring golds there. Does lose a culver. Culverts are quite expensive, so best pull them out of there. They cost a thousand each. Yes, of course, I have Siege Warps getting a little bit extra health and range armor. The crossbows could be upgraded to Siege Bolts, the Fodkin Bolts. Which will give them plus 20 damage versus Siege weapons, actually being useful against the Culverns. Albeit, one of the few cases where they actually would be effective. You could try and invest into a relic inside this keep to make sure it's extra resilient. And arms not trying to torch down this gate. And blue's gonna be able to uh, keep up here and I have to collect up that gold. We got an outpost here, fortified, now being upgraded by cannon. But likely will be torched down before the cannon gets built. Also, we're going to a good number of spearmen, men at arms, Culver and seeing some hot shots. So, looking away against some of these units. Spearman tries to play forward, you can pick it off the Culver. These men are slowly being blood down. And now, we've got the elite arm decks being researched by the Order of the Dragon player. And blue does back the game now. This is Anne Grade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.